Previously on Solar Wars. After the disappearance of every planet of the solar system except for Venus and Mercury, the Sun decides that Venus will be the new Earth and Mercury its new moon. Meanwhile, the members of the Moon Club realize the absence of their planets. Okay, we still don't know what has happened. Yeah, but, but, but maybe the planets went on a little road trip. Even the Earth, whose inhabitants rely 100% on staying in their orbit? Maybe he grew tired of them? I mean, life seems pretty annoying. Just an idea, jeez. Maybe this is for the best. They left us. So what? Why do we need planets so much? We can be rocky planets if we want. Titania, we can't go through this again. Not after the moon revolution. I'm not speaking of a revolution, Titan. I'm just stating the fact that, at this point in time, we are no longer moons. Uh, what was the definition of a moon again? A celestial body that orbits a planet. Whoa! We're dragging moon! Yeah! 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 <laughs> cool. And since we have no planets, we can all calm down. Okay, the situation is fresh and we have no information. Metis, I need you to do a quick scout of the solar system and report any clues. Gotcha, I'll be back in a core beat. Let's go, Titania. Sure. So, are you gonna do it? No way! I am not orbiting around you, Venus! We don't have much of a choice, Mercury. You orbit around me, then! My radius is 3,612 kilometers bigger than yours, and don't get me started on mass! It's physically impossible, Pipsqueak. Stop calling me that! Okay! How's my favorite planet and moon duo doing? Son, I don't want to be a moon! Make up your mind, Mercury! I thought you were all in for moons being treated just like planets! But, 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 but why Venus? Because there's literally no one else! Now start mooning! I, uh, don't think you know what that means. Do it! Uh. Good! That's good! Not too fast, though! That's it! You see? It's not so bad! Now, can you guys try being tidally locked with each other? Wait, so we need to look at each other's face forever? Yes! Forever! Okay, baby steps, son. The Earth's moon took 100 million years before it was tidally locked to the Earth. So we're in no rush, right? Ugh, fine. Okay, step number two. We need to give you a new orbit. Now, I like having you too close to me, but I may be too hot for you, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Give me a break. So, we want to position you, Venus, exactly one astronomical unit away from my position. How much is that again? 150 million kilometers away from me, the sun. Pretty convenient that the Earthlings made their distance from me the value of one astronomical unit, huh? Well, they're all distance, huh? Ah! Good one, Venus! Anyways, off you go! Get to your new positions! This sucks, doesn't it? W what Oh, yeah! Come on, are you serious? What? You're enjoying this! I am not! Our friends are all gone now, but you only care about becoming the new Earth! What do you want me to do, huh? Head out there and look for them? You saw how the sun reacted when we told him everyone's missing? You want him to hate us too? You can say whatever you want, Venus, but don't pretend this isn't exactly what you always wanted. What's gotten into you? Me? Uh, nothing. Speak your mind, Titan. It's just a thought, but what if everyone left because of everything we've done? The moon revolution, the solar system trials, maybe our planets just left us. Yeah, I highly doubt it. <laughs> Everything we've done has been for the b -b -b betterment of the solar system. Well, most of it. Let's just wait for Metis to come back. Speaking of... So, what did you find? 
I have good news and I have bad news. What's the good? I explored both the inner and outer solar system and I found two planets. Yeah! <laughs> Which ones? Is Jupiter one of them? Or Neptune? Uh, or Uranus? That's the bad news. It's none of ours. Only Mercury and Venus are left. Planets without a moon? So every single one of our planets is gone? Mars wouldn't leave us like that! What you... It's your fault for being so annoying! I'm not annoying! I think we've waited long enough. If you want to stay loyal to your planets and wait here, up to you. I'll find an orbit and become a planet. Hey, you know I have your back, girl, but is this too soon? Yeah, let's stand by for now and- You're welcome to wait if you want. I've waited enough. Give us more time, please. Why? You wanted this, Europa. We all just got independence from the planets on a silver platter. I just don't want to make any moves until we are 100% certain. Let's make things right, okay? Together. I'll honor this alliance, but let's be real. A moon club won't last long if we're not even moons anymore. What now? We interrupt this episode for an important announcement. Venus, join Patreon, or I'll be mad. What? Venus? Uh, okay, I'll take over. <clears throat> The Solar Balls team is made up of dozens of people, from directors, animators, voice actors, and more who come from all over the world. And believe it or not, doing this is our job. How cool, right? The thing is, to make more videos which involve more and more new characters, we need to hire more people. And we can't do that without your support. So support, if you can. <laughs> But yeah, ever since we released our Patreon, we went from short videos to long epics like the Moon Revolution. And oh boy, with your help, you have no idea how many of our galactic ideas we'll be able to realize. So if you want videos one week early to be part of giveaways or to join an exclusive Patreon community on Discord with our director, then uh, consider supporting the Patreon. You're too nice, you know that? Yep, I do. Now back to the video! Medis, did you explore the Kuiper Belt? Not really. Why would every planet be hiding we the- We don't know, but it's a possibility. I know it's a lot to ask, so you don't have to go if you don't want to. Be back in a sec. I know this sucks for you, but we have to accept this new reality. Whatever, Venus. Hey, I get that I tease you all the time, but can you stop acting like this? Do you know what happens when you deal with bullies day and night every day? You either crumble under the pressure or you learn to deal with it. This is me dealing with it. But I'm not being mean to you right now. That's not how it works. What's your opinion of me? Ha! Ah, you don't want to know the answer to that. Come on. I'm asking because I want to know. Are you sure? Yes! I think you're deeply insecure and unhappy with yourself. You feel like a failed Earth, which is why you hang on to every single sliver of hope that you could develop life. And since you can't be who you want to be, you boost your ego by picking on everyone else, especially me, because I'm the weakest link. <sighs> you don't know anything! I know about Thea. Wanna watch the next part? Eh? Well, join our Patreon to watch it and support the show.